what we're doing today on the Baja mini bike is we're going to put a rectifier regulator on it. This thing, of course, it came with a light. The lighting circuit on it right now is AC voltage. My bulb is actually burned out, but um, I'm going to convert it and it's unregulated AC, so it can go up to how many ever volts, you know. Um, of course, this thing's not going to put out much, but we still want to keep it regulated. Um, don't want to be burning stuff out. Uh, I've ordered a LED bulb to go in there. So what I picked up, picked this up off of Amazon. It did not come with the wire. Um, this is a regulator rectifier. So it, the rectifier converts the AC to DC and then the regulator keeps it around 12 volts DC. So I've pulled one of the nuts off the gas tank over there. And this is just a little, uh, one of those little hardware uh, brackets I had laying around. So we're gonna mount that right there. Now this plug, I got at my local electronics store and it's just a universal one. It comes with both ends. So if you, you know, you're creating some kind of a project and you need a plug, um, it's made where you just cut it, you know, and put both ends on it. I don't need this other end. Um, it fit except for the uh, clip piece was on the wrong side and um, and it would not plug in you know upside down and so I cut the clip part off and JB welded it over onto this side so now it plugs in I had to open up this hole right here just a little bit because this clip is a little bit wider than what this one's made for but now it fits perfect the wire colors were not in the right spot. There's a little tab in there. You can bend down and pull these wires out. So I pulled them all out, then bent the tab back up, and then put them in in the right spots. So right here, if you're looking at this wiring like it is, the white and the yellow will be the two wires coming off of the motor. And these two... Uh, where are they? These two right here, they're two yellows right now. Those two will go to the white and the yellow. And of course the red will be the positive output and the black will be the negative. And we'll just ground the negative to the motor. So let me get this thing bolted up. And I'm going to cut these wires to about the length I need. And uh, I'll put a uh, spade or a... Uh, ring terminal on the black one and we'll bolt it up where our kill switch is right there it looks like a good ground spot so we'll just bolt it up along with that one and uh, we're going to cut uh, these off and we will uh, get these ready to put a uh, connector on to hook up our output wires I'm also going to put a switch on for the headlight. We'll also wire that up. So I've got everything wired up. I've got my rectifier regulator right there. Um, spliced in the uh, two yellow wires to the yellow and white. Of course on my plug. Of course you can wire them whatever your plug is or you could just put spade terminals in on uh, that regulator. I've got my ground going over here along with the this is the kill switch ground and then I put my light ground over here the positive wire coming out of the regulator is going to this red wire for the light I guessed you know that red would be positive and the green was the ground uh, it's just a guess in the socket itself you can flip the light around it really doesn't matter with the regular light bulb it may matter on an LED bulb I've got a, uh, I need to tie wrap this in and I'll tape these wires up. So I picked up a cheap, like a couple bucks, uh, headlight switch. I need to tie wrap it in. Then I cut back this wire covering. 
for the headlight wire and spliced into the red wire in the headlights and I'll tape this all up so we're interrupting the wire that goes to the headlight and going through the switch so we can switch our headlight and then like I said I'll tape all this up I just wanted to do a video before I taped it up so y'all can kind of see what I've got going on here so that gives us um, should be around 12 volts um, I checked it at the headlight bulb and full throttle I'm getting a little over 11 volts um, I think this uh, thing just does not put out quite enough output um, we'll see uh, there could be an issue with that regulator as well who knows uh, it was five dollars I did uh, pull the regulator off of my son's four-wheeler the same plug and uh, I actually got a few volts less with it so I kind of think that regulator is working we're just not putting out much power uh, it's not meant to you know charge it's not meant to do much um, it's just supposed to have a uh, bulb in here that it powers um, and we're probably by going through that regulator and rectifier we're using up some power to convert it over and uh, of course that regulator uh, bleeds off excess power but it should keep it around 12 or 13 volts if if we've got that much output so we're gonna uh, leave it like it is till we get our our LED bulb like I said it's not come in yet but when we get it we'll try it out we'll see what kind of lighting output we get and I have no way of comparing stock to the LED because this bulb was burned out when I got it so until we get our bulb in I think that's going to be it for now, so thanks for watching.